Hey there music enthusiasts. Welcome to a special journey into the life and legacy of a true Australian icon. Today we're diving into the fascinating story of James Freud, musician, songwriter and frontman of the legendary Australian rock band, Models. From the punk-influenced beginnings to the pinnacle of success and the personal battles that defined his journey, get ready for an inside look at the man behind the music. James Freud, born Colin McGlinchey on June 29, 1959, in Victoria, Australia, embodied the essence of a multi-talented artist, a musician, songwriter and performer whose indelible mark on the Australian music scene endures. Freud's early life unfolded against a backdrop of familial challenges, with his father leaving when he was a teenager. Freud's early interest in music began before he started school, influenced by his uncle's gift of Frankie Avalon Records. His mother, Hannah, initially opposed his musical pursuits but Freud's determination prevailed. He changed his name to James Randall Freud and embarked on a musical journey that would leave an indelible mark on Australian rock. Freud's journey began with Sabre, his first band at 16, alongside guitarist Sean Kelly. The late 1970s saw the formation of Teenage Radio Stars, a glam punk band and later James Freud and the Radio Stars. Freud's solo endeavors and collaborations, such as Beatfish and Moondog, showcased his musical diversity. In 1982, Freud joined Models as their bass guitarist, eventually sharing lead vocalist duties. Freud injected Models with a distinct voice and stage presence, propelling them to fame and contributing significantly to their success until their split in 1988. Models soared to prominence with number one and number two spots on the Australian singles charts with the two Freud penned hits, Barbados, and Out of Mind, Out of Sight and also moderate success with I Hear Motion. Their unique fusion of new wave, post-punk, and alternative rock elements garnered a devoted fan base. Freud's charismatic performances and songwriting prowess played an integral role in Models' acclaim, cementing his status as a musical virtuoso. Beyond his contributions to Models, Freud embarked on a solo career spanning from 1989 to 2010, releasing albums such as Breaking Silence and Step Into The Heat. Despite the commercial challenges of his 1989 album, Step Into the Heat, Freud persisted, expressing his resilience in the face of adversity. The solo ventures revealing a more personal and introspective side of Freud, showcasing his versatility as an artist. He also featured in collaborations like Beatfish and Moondog. Notably, the 1992 dance group Beatfish, formed with Martin Plaza, reflected Freud's creative evolution. Freud's creative journey extended to composing the main title theme for the Australian children's television series, Swinging, in 1996. A testament to his versatility, this foray into television underscored his ability to transcend musical boundaries. From 2007 to 2009 Freud performed with Melbourne tribute band 80s Enough at Melbourne's Crown Casino. In 2008, he released See You in Hell, which was to prove his last solo studio album. In addition to his musical career, Freud's personal life included a marriage to Sally Clifton in October 1983, with whom he had two sons, Jackson and Harrison Freud. Sally, a model and author, wrote a book on the music industry. Freud's sons formed the rock band Sonic Dogma in 2005, later known as Attack of the Mannequins, managed by their father. Amidst his personal and musical triumphs, Freud faced formidable personal challenges, battling with substance abuse and mental health issues throughout his life. His autobiographies, I Am The Voice Left From Drinking, 2002, and I Am The Voice Left From Rehab, 2007, mirrored the lyrics of his hit song, Barbados, chronicling his descent into alcoholism and subsequent recovery attempts. These literary confessions offered glimpses into the complex tapestry of Freud's life, revealing a man grappling with personal demons while making profound contributions to music. On November 4, 2010, James Freud was found dead at his home in Hawthorne, Melbourne. His death marked the end of a tumultuous journey. Michael Gudinski, founder of Mushroom Records, stated that James had succumbed to his disease and taken his own life, acknowledging the impact of his battle with alcoholism on both his life and his music. Freud's absence at the ARIA Hall of Fame ceremony a week earlier was attributed to his struggle with alcohol, highlighting the profound impact his personal demons had on his public life. James Freud's life was a symphony of highs and lows, a melody that resonated through the Australian music landscape. From the rebellious chords of teenage radio stars to the chart-topping anthems of models, Freud etched his name into the annuals of rock history. From the heights of success to the depths of addiction, through it all Freud's resilience and musical genius shone through leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans and fellow musicians alike. As we reflect on the life of James Freud, we remember not just the artist but the complex soul behind the stage. His legacy lives on, a reminder that music is a mirror reflecting the human experience. 
Thank you for joining us on this exploration of James Freud's remarkable life. Leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more videos from the world of music. Until next time keep the music alive and may the echoes of James Freud's art continue to resonate through the corridors of time. Take care and bye for now.